so now one of the other uh, unique features of the Divi blockchain um, is the subscriptions and escrow feature. However, I like to put an asterisk on that because we actually haven't put out any tools to make it easy for people to utilize those two features yet. And I haven't written an article on that yet. Um, but the, I, I'm looking forward to the time when we can get past that so that people can, because it, it's extremely useful if you want to do a, a number of things where you want features of custody, um, and, but, but don't want the custody part. So you basically yeah. put, put funds into a space in the blockchain. Um, both, pe both parties have access to that space and it's programmed to release funds either all at once or, uh, or at a frequency based mm -hmm. on conditions. Um, and those conditions can be time. It could be some sort of agreements, uh, or whatever. Um, and so, but again, we don't actually have tools to be able to set that up easily. And actually, Boyce, you're, you're actually working on a bunch of uh of things you, you should probably talk on this now as to what we can expect uh coming forward yeah yeah so I, i've been working on that python script i think we spoke about it a couple of uh, uh updates ago um it is from all blockchain perspectives a very complicated technology i can't under i can't underscore i can't put enough bolder or, or or highlight anything enough the 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 technology that random string created how cool it is but how complicated it is the goal of everything that we should do as the foundation should make crypto utility made easy that means that we should build features and functions examples tutorials and those kinds of things on top of it so others can do it i'm at that curve where it's at the earliest stage and i'm building this app man it's mind-blowing but it is true that that what rob described is that if you can imagine a box you can call it an address you can call it whatever you want that funds can go into something uh that is it is somewhat closely related to uh how about a, if i mix it all up it's somewhat it's closely related to both multi-sig and atomic swap kind of weird things i'm not saying it's either of those technologies but it's to the point to where it's I'm working on it. That's all I'm going to say. But I want to <laughs> give a working example of a subscription. Once I have it finished, I have to manually do it first. I've written a script based upon how I believe it works. It doesn't work exactly the way I believe it works. So now I've got to go ahead and manually do it. The thing is, is that you should be able to go ahead and work with your vendors, work with your contractors, work with your retailers, work with anyone and say, hey, I want this work done. And um, you could say at a certain time frame, block height, whatever, you can withdraw an amount out of this account. And as long as that's continuing and as long as everybody's agreeing, the emission uh, out of that account for that vendor will be possible. So it's very good, like let's say for a subscription platform, if there is a, a service that you want online, this is great because it's web technology at that point, that somebody could have a subscription. They don't have to pay everything all up front, but they can allocate some amount to an account. And that if you decide to cancel that service, you just go ahead and cancel that contract. So it's really, really cool how it works. I just need to make sure that I keep working on, excuse me, working on the example tutorial. I hope to put it into a graphical user interface written in TK Inter or QT or something. So therefore it's much more simplified. You know, that's what I'm goaling towards. It's yeah. really, really cool. That was and a I, whole lot of boring. People will gl gloss over at that point. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so it'll be nice to, to kind of uh, rev up that engine, that part of the engine, because, uh, uh, and we'll get there because th once we start showing people how to use it, I think people will use it. Um, and I think that really fits well with um, what I think the three of us consider to be the objective of the foundation, um, which is like helping people use Divi. Right. Yeah. So having features like subscriptions, having um, vendor integration, some, you know, web plugin to be able to use DV, some pro probably also some conversion mechanism, because 
we all know that crypto is very volatile and so it's kind of complicated to to hold it for business so they need to have path to be able to use it so subscription is one of those examples <coughs> that can really help businesses yeah. leverage huge the, subscriptions yeah. are huge i think that's that's a, a business model <laughs> right yeah you can have cash, you can have subscriptions. When it comes to subscriptions, that helps businesses. Even in the traditional banking world, you can sort of project values of your offerings based upon your subscription model. So it's this is a huge offering and opportunity for, for users to both use and businesses to integrate. Yeah, and it just gives an, it's a different way of kind of looking at a financial tra transaction, especially if you think of escrow. Like right now we hire somebody to do it. Like if you're buying a piece of land, right? You put funds into escrow and you hire somebody basically to hold those funds so that both parties can see that the money is there. Well, you, you know, you don't need that person, right? In blockchain because you can use this technology. Both people can see the funds are there. They um, they move forward un under conditions, or they get rescinded under conditions. But both people can see it, and that's uh, that. You know, that's exactly what that person that we hire right now to do does. Um, and same with subscriptions. Everybody, can, both sides can see that the the funds are there. Um, and, you know, if you if you how, depending on how you set it up, you can you can rescind the funds so that the subscription doesn't happen anymore. Otherwise, the, the person can see the funds are there and perform the service that are required. It, 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 it makes the entire transaction, long-term transaction, um, more trustable, and you don't need another person and pay another person for that. Yeah.